All right, time to do the LED array module. So the control module was um, a lot harder or relatively harder than this guy. So this guy should be really easy. It's just some LEDs and another um, pin header. And what we're gonna start off with is the LEDs. So here we have an LED. The polarity on these guys matter, so be careful in general, but not always. So um, take this very with a grain of salt because I have found some LEDs that are either manufactured wrong on accident or they're just different. But the positive edge um, or the anode is generally the longer edge and the negative end or the cathode is generally the smaller edge or the shorter edge or pin. Also, it's hard to see maybe on the camera here, but uh, on the negative end, there's supposed to be a flat part. So here on the negative end, it's supposed to be flat. This one is actually backwards, which is a little strange, like I said. But in general, um, I'm blocking the links here. The rounded edge is supposed to be the anode or the positive edge, and the negative edge is supposed to be where the flat end is. This one is already kind of backward, which is weird. So that's why I always keep a little cell battery or coin battery, coin cell battery, 3.3 uh, volts in general. And then I'll just test the polarity um, for myself. So we can see here that in this case, the long edge is the positive one. So that's how I want to remember. Also, it's great to keep these around because a lot of the LEDs I use uh, have a clear uh, bulb. So it's great to tell what color it is as well. So you don't mess it up. Cool. So uh, also on the PCB board, we have a plus and a minus. So this is for me to tell you that this is definitely the positive end. You should put the anode here. This is the negative end, so you put the cathode there. I usually do, I follow the convention of the rounded edge is the anode and the negative edge is cathode. But in this case, with these LEDs, it's a little strange that they're backwards, so be careful. So in this case, it goes like this, even though um, it does show a rounded edge and a flat edge here. So just be careful about that in general. And um, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and put our LEDs in there. If on yours, you're doing a little mix and matching colors, that's cool. A match up the LEDs which with the resistor number is appropriate. Cool. And then before I flip it over, I'm gonna try and bend as many of the pins as I can. I wanna bend all the pins and make sure that the LED is as flush as possible. We will double check to make sure they're flush, but just as an initial adjustment, it'll make it easier when we bend it over that they don't all just fall out. All right, if that was as difficult for you as it seemed like it was for me. It's because these pins are really long and annoying. So I'm gonna cut most of the ones that are sticking up right now to a shorter length. It's already a lot better. You can try and cut some of the ones that we have leaning if you want to. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier to manage. So we have all our LEDs relatively flush. As you'd expect, we're going to solder them next. So I'll do all the edges sticking up. I'm gonna solder them all, and then I will adjust them all individually, make sure that they're flush. Good. Now I'm gonna adjust them all one by one, make sure that they're nice and flush with the PCB board. The flusher it is, the nicer it will look. So I highly encourage that you guys take a moment to make them all flush. Cool. I cut off these edges. I just wanna put my hand. Now we'll do last seven. Good, double check if they're flush. Oh yeah, this one's pretty bad. Fix that in a second, we'll check the other ones. Yeah, these three are good. So readjust if necessary. Might seem like a lot of effort to make them all line, but I promise it looks really nice and they're all flush. Looks perfect. Cut off those pins. Here I'm gonna bend up a row, solder, trim it, and then do each row like that.
Good. Trim this row off. Next. So we have our LEDs on there. There they are, they look nice and flush. Next up, we're going to solder on the LED array. So it goes on like this. Don't put it on the other way or else it won't fit onto your board. Careful not to melt one of your LEDs. I'll solder one, make the necessary adjustment and then solder the rest. Just line it up and make it flush. Just adjust it if necessary. Perfect. And then pin on the opposite edge for support. Make it flush, good. And then we solder on these last row of pins. Careful not to touch the LEDs and melt them a little bit on accident. Great, and if you want, completely optional, you can trim these guys off. We are there's our LED array and we have our control module should fit in just like that nice and then we can plug in our AT tiny sometimes the pins are fanned out a little bit and it won't be able to fit into the um, the dip socket so you can bend it but be really careful on bending it with it against the table same with the other side bend it just a little bit so that it can fit in here and be careful when you do this. You don't want to break any of the pins. Push it in nice and slowly. You shouldn't have to force it. There we are, fit in there quite nicely. And then we have our DS3231. I believe it fits in like this. Right like that. Oh no, it's the other way. Like so. Cool. And there we have our binary clock. So we can plug in the battery and it's not going to do anything right now. If you like this, you can also 3D print or laser cut something to make it a nice holder for it to fit on. Cool. So that does it for the soldering. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to program this guy and we'll uh, do that very soon. So until then, I'll catch you nerds later.